Hey, what up, people? This is Hipfire Hero, and today we have a free for all on High Rise. Um, well, for this match, I'm using the Silence AK 47, and I have the um, AA 12 extended mags, I think it is, as my secondary. I wasn't really looking at the screen then, so I was distracted. But anyway, yeah. Um, I'm using the standard Scavenger Stop and Power Ninja Pro, and also got a silencer on my weapon, because this sort of. I don't know, it's been brought around to me, a sort of bit brought to my attention by a commentator, uh, commentator known as Wings of Redemption. I mean, you've probably heard of him, but like, uh, apart from sort of his constant whining and moaning and bitching and stuff about more or less everything, he does have a very, very high kill death ratio, and he is pretty much, I don't know, it's undeniable that he is very, very good at this game. But at the same time, people always sort of flaming stuff for camping. But I mean, at times like there, you just saw that I ran to that corner and I just stopped right there and then and was aiming at that door, knowing that that guy was going to run around it. And that's because I wear a headset. And because I was using Ninja, I could hear him coming. And he blatantly wasn't using Ninja. But that's just really how it goes. And I mean, in games and stuff, and in games such as this, especially me having my own uh, channels such as this, I mean, you're watching me now. Um, I do take requests and stuff, and I was challenged a long, long time ago to get, like, a nuke with a USP. And, yeah, I mean, there have been times where it's been enjoyable using a, a USP for a match, but that's been, like, what, two out of probably a hundred matches or something ridiculous like that. But, yeah, I mean, as sad as it is, I basically I only enjoy this game when I'm winning. Or when other people are willing to have fun, like using stupid weapons and things. But it's kind of hard, really, to have fun at times like that. When, say, for example, I'm quick scoping for a less, uh, quick scoping for a match, or something, and every single other person you see is there rocking the either tactical knife or UMPs and things like that. You know, perks such as commando that basically override any form of skill at close combat. Uh, all they need to do is quickly and either mash down one of their analog sticks or circle and they can teleport to you and kill you in an instant. And that's just the way it goes. People are going to use stuff like that. People are going to use what they think sort of gives them the biggest advantage. I mean, for me, this is my probably my best setup. Uh, possibly if I switched out, uh, I think... Um, uh, scavenger, there we go, <laughs> uh, for um, sleight of hand, this would be my absolute ideal setup. But that's not really the match that I was going for. For this particular match, I was going with the um, Wings of Redemption sort of ideas. And, well, yeah, basically, I had only just watched his video before this match. And so I was going for, I think it was a flawless match or something. Look, highly unlikely, I know, but uh, whatever, I felt like going for it. And so, in this match, I was there, um, I had my headset on, I had it, like, almost full blast or something stupid. And I was there, I mean, I was sound the hell out of everyone, I could hear them coming. Like, that guy right there, I stopped running before he even came into shot, and things like that. But, I mean, people, no matter what, are going to do what they really want on a game, basically. People are going to play how they want to. It doesn't make any difference really whatsoever if you flame someone or something. The next match they will be the little kid with the um, one-man army danger close grenade launcher. And that's just really the way it's going to go. And if you're going to try and enjoy yourself in a game, I mean, if you can't beat them, join them, to be quite fair. Maybe not with the grenade launchers, but people camping, things like that. I mean, I can I wouldn't really class this gameplay as camping, but I'm definitely playing defensively. I mean, going for a flawless free for all, I mean, you're going to have to be. And so, yeah, I was sound horror a bit. Um I was using a very very powerful weapon, but at the same time most other people were. I mean, if you look around the um on the kill feed basically, I mean, I just knifed the guy with the uh, ACR bling, probably, I think I can even see without looking at it, it was there with the little um, heartbeat sensor on the side of that, so I mean, pretty much safe bet that he was a camper, that kid, that kid there using the akimbo glocks, 
and of course the kill before that was granted a quick scoper, but I mean he's there with his painkiller. 300 damage of health, I mean you're not going to do that with say for example the USP. I mean you can put the entire magazine into him and he would still be standing, but that's just the game itself. You put a bit of lag in that and I mean you're not going to stand a chance. And so, I mean, it all really goes on to about how you want to play the game. Just try and enjoy yourself, basically. Do whatever really makes you happy. If you're going to be an asshole with a grenade launcher, yeah, be an asshole with a grenade launcher, but expect everyone to point it out that you are an asshole. That's just the way it goes. I mean, uh, people like Wings of Redemption, obviously, keep going back to him, but, like, he camps in most of his gameplays and stuff. But, I mean, he has tactics. He knows what he's doing. He He's figured out a gameplay style which works well for him. And more importantly to him, and more importantly in general, really, consistently works well for him. I mean, he has, like, a four-kill-death ratio. He's very, very consistently good. But, whereas players like me, I play very aggressively most of the time. And, yeah, you can tell. I have a kill-death ratio of 1.3. At best. And so, although... I will have the occasional brilliant gameplay and be, well, probably better than average at most things, but I'll also counteract every single one of those matches by going, like, 2 and 30 or something in a team deathmatch where everyone's using grenade launchers. I mean, you can't really counteract things like that. I mean, the only thing you can do at times like that is rage quit. But it's a, I know it kind of takes the fun out of it even more, but, I mean, that's just really the way it goes. I mean, I know I keep coming back to it, and I know I keep repeating that, but, yeah. Play the game how you want, really. And so, either way, I mean, it's pretty late in the video now, but I thought I'd lighten the mood slightly. Um, like, in his videos and stuff, he talks about, like, camping. Well, not camping. He would never refers to it, but he wouldn't dare. <laughs> but um, he talks about, like, setting up your little home base thing. Uh, sitting there um, and basically constantly knowing where people are spawning, knowing the the directions where you're going to be attacked from, things like that. And you've got to bear that in mind at all times and you will do well. For example, in this match, this is the match where you'll maybe see me in my um, uh, montage. I was there with, uh, I was rocking the grenade launcher, hell yeah. And I was on a 24 kill streak when that happened. I mean, no matter how, how good you are at the game, no matter how hard you try, something like that is going to be very, very annoying. I mean, you can counteract it by running around with a knife or quick scope in a game such as this, but I mean, um, yeah, <laughs> just, you know, have fun. Anyway, this has been Hit by Hero, sort of a long commentary, but I'm sorry for that. Either way, peace out.